It's going to be a home stretch fight for that spot. There's no question about the lead and the victory. Sydney McLaughlin Lebrone, 50 67. Did you hear the latest? Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone just smashed her own world record in the 400 meter hurdles with an unbelievable time of 50.65 seconds at the US Olympic trials. Can you believe she keeps getting faster and breaking records like it's nothing? McLaughlin's beginning to close. The Olympic champion, the world record holder, has the edge. Has the youngster got enough in the tank in the closing stages? It's getting tight, but remember, Mohammed's never won this title. Twice she's finished second. Mohammed on the line. Let me take you back to the 2019 World Championships, a moment that will forever be engraved in track and field history. This was where Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone faced off against Dalila Muhammad in one of the most intense and memorable 400 meter hurdles races ever. The rivalry between these two athletes was fierce, each pushing the other to new heights. Dalila Muhammad had already made a name for herself, but Sydney was the rising star everyone had their eyes on. The race itself was electrifying. Both athletes were neck and neck, hurtling with incredible speed and precision. As they approached the final stretch, it was anyone's game. But by the smallest of margins, Dalila Muhammad pulled ahead, crossing the finish line first and setting a new world record. It was her second world record that year, and it was clear that she was at the top of her game. Sydney, despite giving it her all, had to settle for second place. Now, you might think that losing such a high-stakes race would be disheartening, but for Sydney, it was quite the opposite. This loss became a turning point in her career. It lit a fire within her, pushing her to train harder and refine her technique. She used this moment as motivation, determined to come back stronger and faster. And boy, did she ever. Then I go to practice, which will be anywhere from like two to two and a half hours on the track. Um, depending on what day it is, it'll either be like speed, speed endurance, um, longer tempo, hurdle technique. From that day forward, Sydney set off on a journey of relentless improvement. She didn't just aim to match Dalila Muhammad, she aimed to surpass her. This loss was the catalyst for Sydney's incredible streak of victories and world records that followed. It was as if she had something to prove, not just to the world, but to herself. In 2021, Sydney truly showed the world what she was made of. The first major highlight was at the US Olympic trials. The atmosphere was electric as everyone watched Sydney take to the track. She didn't just win the race, she shattered the world record with a time of 51.90 seconds. This performance was a clear message. Sydney was ready to dominate the Tokyo Olympics, and dominate she did. In the finals at Tokyo, she outdid herself yet again, breaking her own record with an astonishing 51.46 seconds. Watching her race was like witnessing history in the making, and she made it look almost effortless. But Sydney wasn't done yet. In 2022, she continued her assault on the record books. First up were the US Nationals. Fans and athletes alike were eager to see if she could surpass her Tokyo performance. Not only did she rise to the occasion, but she also set a new world record, clocking in at 51.41 seconds. It was a jaw-dropping moment, but Sydney still had more to give. Later that year, at the World Championships, she stunned everyone once more by smashing her own record yet again, this time with an incredible 50.68 seconds. This wasn't just breaking a record, it was redefining the limits of what was possible in the 400 meter hurdles. Moving into 2023, Sydney's dominance showed no signs of waning. She remained unbeatable in the 400 meter hurdles, but what's truly impressive is her versatility. She started competing in the 200 meters and the 400 meters as well. And guess what? She excelled in those events too. It's like she has extra gear that no one else possesses. Her performances across these different events showcased her extraordinary talent and athleticism, proving that she's not just a specialist, 
but a well-rounded track and field superstar. The 2024 US Olympic trials were buzzing with excitement and anticipation, especially with Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone set to compete in the 400 meter hurdles. Everyone was talking about her. Fans, commentators, and fellow athletes were eager to see if she could outdo herself once again. After all, she had already broken the world record four times, and the big question on everyone's mind was whether she had another record-breaking performance in her. As the race day approached, the tension was palpable. Sydney's previous performances had set the bar incredibly high, and the expectations were sky high. People flocked to Eugene's Hayward Field, knowing they were about to witness something special. Sydney had only raced the 400-meter hurdles once that year before the trials, but everyone knew she was in peak form. Gone out quite well through the first half, but Anna Cockrell is right there. I expect a move from Sydney now. Jasmine Jones running well, second from the left. She's gone by. When the race finally began, Sydney was in lane five. At the starting gun, the field got off to a fairly even start, but Sydney quickly took a slight lead within the first 200 meters. This was a bit different from her usual races, where she often took a commanding lead right from the start. It seemed like she had a more measured strategy this time, conserving her energy for a powerful finish. As the race progressed, Sydney began to pull away. Her form was flawless, her speed unmatched. By the 250 meter mark, she had opened up a significant lead. The crowd was on its feet, cheering her on as she approached the final stretch. Sydney powered through the last 100 meters with incredible strength and determination leaving her competitors far behind. When she crossed the finish line, the clock read 50.65 seconds. The crowd erupted in applause and cheers. She had done it again, breaking her own world record for the fifth time. The significance of this achievement was immense. Not only did she secure her spot on the US team for the Paris Olympics, but she also pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible in the 400 meter hurdles. Sydney's reaction was a mix of disbelief and joy. She later told reporters, honestly, I wasn't expecting that time. Knowing that there is more there and there is more to fix just is a confidence booster heading into Paris. Her humility and focus on continuous improvement were truly inspiring. After setting yet another world record at the 2024 US Olympic trials, Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone was both thrilled and surprised. In her post-race interview, she expressed a mix of disbelief and excitement, saying, Honestly, I wasn't expecting that time. Knowing that there is more there and there is more to fix just is a confidence booster heading into Paris. It was clear that even after such an incredible achievement, Sydney was focused on refining her performance and pushing her limits even further. Honestly, Shock, I know when it first came up, it said 50.67, and I was like, there's just no way, 0.01. Um, but honestly, just I wasn't expecting that time. So I think that's what that was. To be able to run that time. Experts in the track and field community were quick to weigh in on Sydney's latest record breaking run. Many were astounded by her ability to consistently set new world records and improve her times. One analyst mentioned Sydney is not just breaking records, she's redefining the sport. Her technique, speed, and mental toughness are unparalleled. The possibility of Sydney breaking the elusive 50-second barrier in the 400-meter hurdles became a hot topic of discussion. If anyone can do it, it's Sydney. She's shown us time and again that she's capable of things we once thought impossible. Another expert commented, Comparing Sydney's current record of 50.65 seconds to her previous records highlights her remarkable progression and dominance in the sport. In 2021, she broke the world record twice, first with a time of 51.90 seconds at the Olympic trials, and then with 51.46 seconds at the Tokyo Olympics. These times alone were groundbreaking, but Sydney didn't stop there. In 2022, she set new records of 51.41 seconds at the US Nationals and an astonishing 50.68 seconds at the World Championships. Each of these performances marked significant milestones, but her latest record pushes the boundaries even further. What's truly incredible is how Sydney continues to improve with each race. 
her progression from 51.90 seconds to 50.65 seconds in just a few years is a testament to her relentless dedication and exceptional talent. Her ability to break her own records repeatedly shows a level of dominance rarely seen in any sport. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone's impact on track and field extends beyond just her records. She's inspiring a new generation of athletes with her performances and her attitude towards continuous improvement. Her journey is a powerful reminder that with hard work and determination, the limits of what's possible are always expanding. As we look forward to the Paris Olympics, there's a palpable sense of excitement to see just how far Sydney can push the boundaries of the 400-meter hurdles. Watching her race is witnessing history in the making, and it's clear that her story is far from over. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.